Hey y'all, it's Georgie from GSC Solutions here with another amazing video around how we can use and maximize some of our Zoom features. So we got this question um, in some feedback in our comments when we posted our previous Zoom video around setting up a Zoom page. Someone asked around how do we actually set up the landing page? So we're gonna go over step-by-step step how you set up a landing page when you're on Zoom. So first thing you're gonna go to is getting to your account, right? Definitely log in, get into your account, and then you want to hit my account if you've already logged in. After you've hit my account, you want to head over to the left side of the page where it says meetings, and then find the meeting you'd like to edit. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and do the test meeting. Before I go into it, I'm going to hit edit, because when you're setting up your meeting, it's very, very important that you have registration required. If you do not require registration, there will not be a landing page for you to set up and design. So ensure that re registration, that the required box is checked. If that's checked, and then when you hit save, you are good to go. Then when you're in manage that event, right, where if you click on my meetings and then just click on the title of the meeting itself, it'll bring you to the manage page. In the previous video, I talked a little bit more about some of the other sections such as polls, live streaming, all that jazz. So you can see those videos linked below. But today we're going to talk about landing page, which is all about branding. So we're going to go over to the toggle that says branding. We're going to go ahead and click on that. So in order to update the branding, you're going to need to upload a banner and a logo. For your purposes, we've already created templates within Canva over here at GSD Solutions, which we will be linking below in this uh, video description box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the links here. So if you want a virtual background, so we have a virtual background template available for you, as well as a logo template and the page banner template. So these are already are sized into the sizes that um, Zoom is requiring. So all you have to do is click on the template and hit use template. When you hit use template, you could create a funky design. Um, for this, I'm just gonna add a page, a very warm welcome, right? Just using the demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that from Canva. It doesn't matter if it's PNG or JPEG, just make sure it's an image file. I'm gonna only go ahead and download page two. So that's downloading, so that's gonna be my banner. Then I'm going to get my logo, so I'm gonna use this template. So this example here, the best thing to do is again, add a second page. Then you're gonna to go to your Canva or upload your logo if you don't already have it in there. So we're gonna add the GSC Solutions logo, make it nice, put it centered, right? Nice and big in the center. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and download that as well. Same deal, don't change any of the settings, just download that, that page where the item is on. So that's downloading too. And then finally, if you wanted to create a custom Zoom background for your in your Zoom meeting, you can use this template. For the landing page purposes, we don't need that, but that's just a bonus we're throwing in there. So now we have our um, Zoom templates, such as the banner and logo downloaded. So we're gonna just upload those. So we're gonna upload the banner first. And again, it's already sized for Zoom. There you go, it's already there. And we're gonna upload our logo, which we resized for the Zoom. And then you could add a description, so alternate text to these images if you like. This is BSD Solutions logo. This is a super cool banner. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. So once you hit save, those save changes are saved. Um, another detail you could go ahead and add in is in the details of the event, right? If there is no description, it could look a little naked. So I'm gonna just edit that and add a little description because I did not have one before. Super fun event with amazing speakers. <laughs> Again, just for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now, how do we actually look at what we just created? So if you copy the registration link, you can either copy it and open it in a new tab, or you could just simply click on the link itself. So yeah, so this is your registration page. As you can see, you have your custom banner up at the top, the meeting title, the description, your logo here, and then you have your meeting registration questions. Something cool you could do here additionally is customize these meeting registration questions. So let's go back to our back end. And what we need to do is go over to registration. 
and then edit, then we will see questions here. So right now it's only asking the person, you know, first name and email required, so that's automatic. It's also asking them for their last name. You could select any of these additional boxes, such as address, city, state, make it required or not required. But let's say you have a custom question to ask because this is a very unique event to you and your organization. You could scroll all the way down and simply click add question. It'll give you the option to add a question and you could choose from type of question where it's a short text response. So something that is open ended, you could put a short text response. Or if you want them to select a choice, such as a multiple choice question, then you would select single choice and you could add as many questions as you like in this field here. Just make sure that you save them. So the tedious thing about this is that you have to, let's say, you know, question one. Yeah, this is a draft, but we could, you know, save here. And then when it pops up here, save all. If you leave before that, the question may not come up. Let's go back to our demo tab, refresh the page, and that question should be there now. Look, here you go. Your drop down and your attendees can then register for your event and you get to collect the essential information that you need in order to make your event a success. In our next video, we'll be talking to you all about how to now collect this data, how to receive these reports post event. So we'll see you there. Thank you so much for tuning in. And at any time, if you have any questions around Zoom, virtual events, you could contact GSD Solutions, head on over to our website, gsdsolutionsinc.com. We are always here to support on virtual events, streaming, and any of your digital integration needs. All right, see y'all in the next one. Bye.